For the Aussie men's and women's sevens, the Olympic countdown is finally over. The sides departing Sydney this afternoon. Next stop, Rio. Super excited. It's been a long time coming and the girls really amped to get to Portobello to the base and you know enjoy a bit of heat before we he head off into the village. It's got a special feeling to it. Um, you know, we're out at this airport a lot, but uh, to come out here with a different uniform on, uh, yeah, it's very special and uh, I think the boys just can't wait to get over there. And despite a last-minute change of plans due to less-than-ideal conditions at the Athletes' Village, women's coach Tim Walsh is hardly concerned. It changed it a, um, a little bit. We were going to go to the Village first, but... Um... We're used to, in sevens, you travel around the world all the time and there's always things that you have to adapt to. So we actually, um, we didn't foresee this, but we, we expected so many different things that'll be um, little barriers to, to us and really it's, 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 it's not a problem. So we'll just uh, roll with it and, uh, and adjust plans where we need to. The women's side hot favourites to claim gold to go along with the World Series championship they won just two months ago. That would be pretty special and it is something obviously that we're you know, striving towards but we're just going there to go 100% prepared, really enjoy ourselves and then the result will, will take care of itself. Despite preparations for their Olympic quests all but complete, there's still a couple of things left to work on. I actually uh, just realised that uh, I'd left my wallet at home so my uh, lovely wife has uh, jumped back in the car and she's uh, driving home and picking it up for me and hopefully she'll get back in time. At least it wasn't his passport. The tournament kicks off on August 6th.